Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Hi and welcome to Marcus Online Class Mathematics Session. In this video lesson, we are going to learn how to do basic multi digit multiplication. Multiplication is one of the four elementary mathematical operations of arithmetic. Please remember one thing learning multiplication is not as easy as addition and subtraction. Practice is required to learn multiplication. So what is the easiest way to learn multiplication? It is very easy for you if you pay attention one thing. Do you know what it is? Tell me quickly what it is. Yes. What did you say? Yes. Memorize the multiplication tables. If you have multiplication tables in your memory, multiplication is not difficult. I think multiplication tables from 1 to 5 will be in everyone's memory. Multiplication table from 6 to 9 are often forgetting by many. Wasn't it? The multiplication table for 10 is very easy. So, Multiplication will be easy for everyone if they learn only the multiplication table of 6, 7, 8 and 9. The only easy way to learn multiplication is to memorize those multiplication tables that is 6, 7, 8 and 9. Learning from beginning to end and from end to beginning can be easily memorized tables while studying. For example, how to learn tables of 7? First learn from 1 to 10. Then 10 to 1. 1 into 7 is 7. 2 into 7 are 14. 3 into 7 are 21. 4 into 7 are 28. 5 into 7 are 35. 6 into 7 are 42. 7 into 7 are 49. 8 into 7 are 56. 9 into 7 are 63. 10 into 7 are 70. Then again, 10 into 7 are 70. 9 into 7 are 63. 8 into 7 are 56. 7 into 7 are 49. 6 into 7 are 42. 5 into 7 are 35. 4 into 7 are 28. 3 into 7 are 21. 2 into 7 are 14. 1 into 7 are 7. Those who do not remember multiplication table study in the same way. Now, in the fourth grade, you will not have time to teach multiplication table specifically. So, you have to learn for yourself. One thing I want to mention before we start the class. Now, everyone has a mobile phone in their hands. No one should use a calculator while studying multiplication. You are not allowed to use the calculator in the examination hall. Parents should also pay attention to this matter. Okay, let's start the lesson. Multiplying a four digit number by a one digit number. For example, look here, 6360 into 6. This lesson Describe multi-digit multiplication. I remind you again, chapter will be much easier for you if you memorize your basic multiplication facts. But if you don't have them memorized, then be sure to have memorized multiplication tables before you are doing your practice problems. Here, 6360 into 6. Now, as you can see, this is a four digit number multiplied by a single digit number. When you are given a problem like this, where the numbers are written side by side, you need to rewrite in stacked form with one's place line up the way. We did the addition and subtraction. Now you might remember with the multiplication, that order of the problem doesn't matter. 6360 into 6, the same answer will get 
6360 into 6. Uh -huh. So we could put whichever number we want on the top or the bottom. But it is always best to put the number with the most digits on the top and the ones with the fewest digits on the bottom. Okay, now we are ready to learn the procedure for multiplying. Now in our problem, we only have one digit on the bottom and we are going to multiply it by each of the digits in the top number. And since the top number has four digits, that means that our problem will have four small multiplication steps. For the first step, we multiply the bottom digit by the digit in the ones place of the top number, which is 6 into 0. We always start with ones place and work our way from right side to left. So, 6 times 0 give us 0. Last class we learned zero property of multiplication. So, 6 into 0 is equal to 0. Now it is the time for second step. We multiply the bottom digit by the next digit to the left in our top number. So, 6 times 6 is equal to 6 into 6 are, 6 into 6 are 36. Just like with addition, when we get a two digit answer, we have to carry the first digit on the top of the next column. So, 6 into 6 are 36. We write 6 here, 3 in next place. Then third step, multiply the bottom digit by the next digit to the left in our top number. That is 6 into 3. 6 times 3 is 6 times 3. 18 and there is that 3 we carry it up to the top from the last answer what do we do with that well we need to add it to the answer that we just got 6 into 3 is 18 18 plus 3 21 but once again our answer is a two digit number so we leave the one in our answer line and we carry the to up to the top of the thousands place column. Next, our fourth and last multiplication step, we have 6 times 6 again, which is 6 into 6 are 36. But again, there is the digit we carry it up above. 36 plus 2 is equal to 38. We have done all four of our multiplication steps and the answer to our problem. 6 times 6360 is equal to 38160. Is it clear? Let's try one more example from your textbook. Page number 130. Let's multiply 3958 into 2. Our top number has 4 digits. It means we will break this problem up into four small multiplication steps. We will multiply the bottom digit by the each digit in the top number starting with one's place on the right and working our way left. Okay, here we go with the first step. We multiply the bottom digit by the top digit in the one's place. 2 into 8. 2 into 8 are 2 into 8 are 16. We have a two digit answer. We need to carry the digit. That will be in the way. Then add it back in after we complete the next multiplication step. 2 into 8 are 16. So we carry the 1 to the top of the tens column. Now we can do the second step. We multiply the bottom digit by the next digit in the top number 2 into 5 2 into 5 sir that was that was easy 2 into 5 sir 10 but don't forget about that digit we carried 1 we need to add that to our answer from the second step so 10 plus 1 give us 11 2 into 5 sir 10 plus 1 11 
so write one is answer line one is next place now we can just move on the next step for our third multiplication step we will multiply 2 into 9 that gives us 2 into 9 is 18 so 2 into 9 is 18 18 plus 1 19 it is a two digit answer so we will need to carry again 2 into 9 is 18 18 plus 1 19 so write 9 in answer line 1 in next place now it is the time for fourth and last step we multiply 2 into 3 which is 6 2 into 3 is 6 6 plus 1 7 we have our final answer 3958 into 2 is equal to 7916 all right that is the basic of multi digit multiplication if you practice again and again multiply answer will get very quickly now we learn the basic of multi digit multiplication we learn how to multiply a multi digit number by one digit number next we are going to learn how to multiply a multi-digit number by another multi-digit number. You remember the procedure for multiplying when we have a one-digit bottom number, right? For example, if you have a two-digit bottom number, 3716 into 26, you multiply the first digit by each top digit. And then you multiply the second digit by each top digit. That means you get two different answers. How can we have two different answers for the same problem? The different answers just what you get from doing the multiplication procedure for each digit of the bottom number separately. In fact, we have two separate multiplication problem that each have a one digit bottom number that means 3716 into 6 and 3716 into 20. So let's multiply 3716 by 26. We do the same procedure that we did in the previous example for each of the bottom digits. And since our top number has four digit number, that means there will be four multiplication steps for the first digit and four steps for the second digit. Total, we need eight steps. We can start the same way we would if the bottom had only one digit. By just ignoring the second digit until we finish the first four steps. All right. So our first multiplication step is 6 into 6 which is 36 that is a two digit answer so we leave the 6 in our answer line and carry 3 up above the next digits. So the next step is 6 into 1 which is 6. This time we have a one digit answer so we don't need to carry remember the carried number 3 add the number 6 plus 3 6, six into 1 is equal to 6 plus 3 9 So the next step is 6 into 7 6 into 7 are 42 that is two digit answer we leave 2 in our answer line and carry the 4 up above the next digits. 6 into 7 are 42. Write 2 here. 4 in next place. Our fourth step 6 into 3 which is, is equal to 6 times 3 is 18. And then we add in the 4 that we carry and we get 18 plus 4. 22. 
This time we can leave both digits of the 22 in our answer line because there, there is no more steps for the first digits. Remember, we still have that other bottom digits that we have been ignoring. Now we have to multiply it by each of the top digits also, which means we have four more steps to do, which means we have four more steps. It also means that we will get a second answer and because we will get a second answer we need to start a second answer line for the next set of steps this answer line will come from our second bottom digits at the very end after we are all doing multiplying we are add the two answer together but for now Let's continue with the second set of multiplication steps. There is something very important that you need to do when you start the second set of steps. Because the second digit of the bottom number is in tens place. That means that even though the digits is only a 2, it is value really 20. That is 10 times bigger. So the answer we get should also be 10 times bigger. So before we start multiplying, we need to put a 0 in the first spot of our answer line. It is 10 times bigger. Let's continue with our problem. Let's do the first step for our second bottom digits. We multiply that digit 2 by the ones place digit of the top number, which is 6. 2 into 6 give us 12 and that goes in our second answer line right next to the extra 0 we put there. Right, 2 in answer line, 1 in tens place. Then 2 into 1, 2 into 1, 2 into 1 are 1 plus 1, 3. This time a 1 digit answer so we don't need to carry just add the carried number next 2 into 7 14 is a two digit answer we have to carry 2 into 7 are 14 no carried number so write 4 in answer line 1 in next place the fourth and last step 2 into 3 is equal to 6 6 plus 1 7 and since there is no more steps. We can write 7 in our second answer line. We multiplied each bottom digit by each top digits. But now what do we do? We have two answer lines. This is just one multiplication problem. Well, remember the reason we have two answer lines is that we finished two separate multiplication problems. We treated it like it was 3716 into 6 and 3716 into 20. Now, as I mentioned earlier, all we have to do to get the final answer is add those two answers together. So, we can just draw a line below and put a plus sign on the left side. Now we can add them column by column starting from ones place just like with a multi digit addition 6 plus 0 is equal to 6 9 plus 2 11 write 1 here 1 in next place 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 2 plus 4 6 2 plus 7 9 there our final answer is a pretty big number 96,616 One more question from your textbook 352 into 12 First rewrite the number line by line Large number on top Then write small number as per the place value order Here multiply 3 digit with 2 digits Let's start First multiply 1's place number 
to top number then tens place number to the top number okay 2 into 2 is 4 2 into 5 is 10 we write 0 in answer line 1 in next place 2 into 3 is 6 6 plus 1 7 we finished the first three steps of this problem then we will do second three steps 1 into 2 remember 1 is tens place actually we multiply 10 into 2 that is why we put 1 0 bottom of the ones place 1 into 2 is equal to 2 1 into 5 5 1 into 3 3 here 2 answer line 704 3520 then add 4 plus 0 4 0 plus 2 2 7 plus 5 12 write 2 here 1 in next place 1 plus 3 4 final answer 4224 all of you clear today's class ends here please note your homework page number 114 exercise number 5.382f that is your textbook work next page 115 exercise number 5.4 that is your notebook work a to f one more homework for you recite multiplication table of 4 and 8 and record your voice and send it to school whatsapp it is all for today thank you